Uh, we needed this space, desperately needed this space. We could not provide any more clients because there was no room for the doctors to have offices to provide for the clients. Uh, when I took over the pharmacy at that time, they were doing about 85 prescriptions a day. We were in 300 square feet, uh, the bare minimum required by the state of Arizona. We had facilities that were scattered throughout the town. Um, some of those facilities were in not uh, in the best shape in terms of curb appeal, the ambiance, and just adequacy for delivering medical care nor were they centrally located. Some of our spaces were very cramped, very tight. We were waiting for exam rooms. Patients were waiting an um, extensive amount of time because of that. HRSA awarded the first of a series of capital development grants in October of 2010 to support major construction and renovation needs at community health centers nationwide a total of 144 grants for $732 million were funded. The funded projects are projected to support an additional 750,000 patients in community health centers. Four of these grantees around the country were visited after the completion of their projects to further explore the impact of the capital development program. Springfield Medical Care Systems Incorporated of Springfield, Vermont was awarded $2.5 million to support a $6.4 million renovation project of a historic manufacturing plant in an economically challenged section of the city. The project renovated over 28,000 square feet within the three-story building and allowed for the consolidation of four separate service sites. We have a, a high unemployment. We have a, a high percentage of our citizens in Springfield and surrounding area are senior citizens and uh, a facility such as the uh, federally qualified health center uh, that we have is vitally important to uh, the health of the citizens of this area, no question about it. We've been able to consolidate a number of individual practices that were scattered throughout the community into one location. This building has state-of-the-art equipment, new exam tables, which was really nice. A lot of the aging plant, a lot of the aging infrastructure and the old practices was pretty dated. You'd have to struggle to get some of the tables to work the way you needed to. Um, so really having up-to-date equipment for better patient care, better documentation of patients' health has been essential. My daughter was sick uh, this past spring. She had mono, came here, had a check, needed blood work. In the past, you'd have to get in your car and go up the road, and then you wait a few days. She went downstairs, had her blood drawn. By that evening, the doctor had already seen the results of the blood work, and she was being treated. Now, as a parent, that's a tangible example of, of the case where, whether it's synergy or whatever you want to call it, it, it made sense and this facility works. Crider Health Center Incorporated of Wentzville, Missouri was awarded $5 million to support two separate projects. The grant fully funded a $1.6 million project that provided much needed renovation of the existing 12,000 square foot building. The project allowed the addition of dental services that were not previously available at this location. The grant also fully funded a second project in Warrington, Missouri. This project constructed a new $3.4 million, 15,000 square foot medical dental and behavioral health building. We walk around, you know, for the first three years, certainly pinching each other because we never had an opportunity to serve folks in this kind of an environment. And we're very proud. And um, we, we get a lot of compliments, um, not only from the community, but from our patients. I think we're the best kept secret, you know, in healthcare. The care you get from having all of the people that are seeing you be able to talk to each other and be in the same building provides uh, higher care because they can communicate with each other. You need the space to treat the people. Uh, and, and the bigger we've gotten, you can just see the numbers, how many more people we're able to treat and take care of. They may be homeless, they may have no food, um, and it's kind of difficult for one person to provide all that. But I can tell you that when they walk in our agency, if they have those needs, they, they have care that day. And so that's a pretty good feeling. Anchorage Neighborhood Health Center of Anchorage, Alaska was awarded $8 million to support a $27 million construction project. 
The resulting new 43,000 square foot three-story building is centrally located for the consolidation of several service sites. This building has dramatically increased not only the quality of the care, and that's, you know, reflected in a number of our indicators, but it's also made a huge impact in the number of patients we're able to see. Uh, we're seeing about 3,000 more patients than we are today than we were two and a half years ago when we opened up. Oh, the new facility? Oh gosh, I tell you. Every time I see from, <laughs> from old patients, they always say, wow, what a difference. Over here, I can utilize wheelchair patients and I actually do the exam in a patient on a wheelchair which is a huge improvement. In our new facility, uh, we have the great design of the provider sitting right next to their medical assistant and right across the room in the same enclosed space um, from their care coordinator and their um, nursing um, support staff. I guess I can't really emphasize how much that's made an impact on our ability to transform to a patient-centered medical home. Uh, we have no problem retaining our providers any longer. Um, all of our provider slots are, are full, but what's made the difference is a combination of this facility because our old facility was deplorable. People hated working there and people hated coming there. And now we have people coming from the whole community um, that makes it easier on the physicians. So that's health retention. And we've also had the opportunity to really focus on quality instead of quantity. We have great staff, we have a great building, like, you know, for the patient population we serve. This is an amazing place. We have really good providers. Marana Health Center of Marana, Arizona was awarded $8.9 million to support the construction of a new $33 million project. The resulting new 99,000 square foot complex allowed for the consolidation of seven previous service sites. These grants have allowed the health centers to expand access to care that you can sure everybody in the world, but if they have nowhere to go to get the care that they need, then the insurance piece doesn't matter. This has really opened up access to care that wasn't there before. And what it allows us to do is it allows us to not only welcome a diversity of patients, um, it also allows us to see multiple, we can see families, we can bring a lot of people in families can get their care together. They seem to really love that when their whole family, their mother, father, and all their kids are in one big op together, and they're all receiving their care separately, but together. It really makes them feel at home and comfortable in their environment. Uh, so it gives us a lot more opportunity to engage with the patient, to, f to monitor some of the patients, which we do in certain disease states, than uh, I think is possible in, uh, in other environments. It's allowed us to bring a lot of services that were not available in, a sur in this community to anybody, period. Wouldn't matter if you were in insured, uninsured, Medicare, Medicaid, it didn't matter, they weren't available, period. As a result of the Affordable Care Act, these health centers are able to serve additional patients, to provide expanded services, and to improve the quality of health care throughout the country.